This guy's an absolute horse. Stick a mic in front of his face, and it's like, I just try to throw the ball really, really hard, and good things are gonna happen. That's all, that's all you can expect of me, really. I, I just try to do my best out there, and I mean, I think things turned around last year for me because I was, I'm just a lot meaner. I'm just a lot meaner and nasty. I'm really filthy, to be honest with you. It's all an attitude. I, I, I started using uh, lava soap. Uh, it's got those little granulars for tough people. I wear a chain wallet. You might not be able to see it from here, but it's back there. And I watch a lot of westerns now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring back up Jeff Brown from Sun National Bank for a couple of special introductions. We have two World Series winners. Cole Hamels and Shane Victorino as our keynote speakers. Does it get any better than that at the beginning of the baseball season in the Delaware Valley? I'm excited to introduce you to one of the four aces who is gracing the cover of Sports Illustrated's Preview Magazine. The man who took us to the World Series in 2008 and will take us there in 2011 for the Hamels Foundation, uh, which if you guys haven't seen her, is, is to help out education, uh, and especially in the inner cities. You know, last year we were able to give the largest grant in Philadelphia school history, uh, and I think that was something that we were very proud of. Uh, just, for, you know, just being able to, you know, set our mind out and, and trying to accomplish something. So, you know, but, you know, first off, you know, our ultimate goal was to you know, have something to where there is a support system. I know everybody out here, we have great family and friends and, and someone to go to, uh, to, you know, if you need help, if you need to talk to somebody, if you needed, uh, you know, any sort of place to go uh, to get kind of reassurance. Uh, and, and that's kind of something that some of these kids lack. And, and I thought that was something very important for us to be able to hopefully provide. Uh, I think anytime you're able to go out there, you know, you do, you want to enrich kids' lives. I know I get to do that in the baseball field, providing, a, you know, some entertainment. Uh, but at the same time, when the entertainment's over, you know, what, what do these kids have? They have to go back to their homes. Uh, most of the time, it's not the best of, uh, you know, places. So, you know, if they have something good in the schools, uh, then they have something to look forward to every day. Also, you know, our foundation, we try to stretch it a little bit further, and uh, we, we're obviously heading to, uh, to Malawi, we're building a school for orphans. Uh, Malawi is, is a place where, you know, it's, it's very, very stricken with, with uh, the poverty and, and AIDS, uh, and it leaves a lot of, you know, people that are, uh, you know, left out and, and have no hope. Uh, and, you know, and, and trying to provide kids that don't even have a support system like we do here. All in all, I mean, it's, I've been so fortunate to be able to come out here and, and you know, play this game of baseball uh, in the Philadelphia area. It's, it's been something that's been very wonderful to, to not only me, but, but, our, but my family, that you guys have taken us in. I know uh, both Shane and I, were, we're from the West Coast, so when, we were, when I was drafted to the Phillies and, and Shane was a uh, Rule 5 draft, uh, we had no clue where we were going. I mean, truly, we the East Coast, I mean, as far out as I've been was uh, Vegas. I <laughs> uh, wish you guys the best. You know, go out for your goals. It's, you know, say, it's saying something to give 100% and to, if you don't achieve them or if you do, it's knowing that when you look yourself in the mirror, that you're okay with it, that you knew that you did everything that you possibly could, because I know that I have to do that every single day. You know, I have good games and bad games. But at the end of the day, I know that if I really did look in that mirror and I knew that I did everything I possibly could, I'm fine with it. And I can move on to the next day. So, you know, in you guys' sports, in school, you know, there's a lot to life to live. You're going to experience some really fun challenges, uh, which I do every day. Um, but at the same time, there's going to be a great, bigger reward. Uh, thank you guys very much.